and take a live look out of our Miami Tower cam, see how things are looking on this Friday. And we've seen better days. We have. Right? And it is just pouring outside of our studios right now. You look can at hear that. It. Yes, there are loud thunderstorms too. Mm -hmm. Lots of intense lightning and thunder with some of these. Got a couple storm reports from that storm we were talking about in Broward County earlier. Hail up to half inch size. So that's the size of maybe a small marble or so. That was University Drive and Sunrise Boulevard a little bit earlier within the last hour. Also got a measured wind gust of 61 miles per hour. I haven't heard of any tree limbs or trees down, but that can certainly take down a couple of trees so we'll be out letting you know if there's any storm reports so certainly let us know if you have anything going on where you are most of these thunderstorms over the last couple hours have been in Broward County and I'm actually watching this area up here this is Parkland Coral Springs where we're getting the latest thunderstorm to really bubble up it looks pretty strong up there nothing severe at the time and then farther to the south this is where we have that flood advisory out for plantation sunrise to Lauder Hill it does include Davy and parts of Southwest ranches too. rainfall totals in these areas check that out three to four inches of rain and a lot of that came in a short period of time. That's why we have that flood watch in place. Could have some street flooding still ongoing, but know that the rain has lightened up, so we should be improving. Also, northern Miami data around Miami Gardens to Miami Shores picked up close to three inches already from this thunderstorm that's moving into Miami Beach. That's the one we are looking at from that Miami Tower camera, and you can see that rain is coming down heavy at Mount Sinai. You can't see anything at all out there. So we'll deal with the storms for the next couple of hours, but then our atmosphere kind of we zap the energy out of it. There's no fuel left for the thunderstorm. So a lot of these will fizzle out as we get towards sunset. So keep your Friday night plans, but no, there's still maybe an isolated storm hanging around with us, but we'll be looking at a drying trend. The flood watch that was just until today has since been extended a couple hours ago till tomorrow evening. So we have more flooding possible going into tomorrow. Here's the timing of that rain. If you have any plans going on morning to one o'clock, that's going to be your best shot in Miami Dade and Broward. The storms I think are going to favor the keys that we do have on radar. One to eight o'clock highest chance of thunderstorms in Broward and Miami Dade. That's when we have that heavy rain potential after eight o'clock. A lot of those storms should slowly fizzle. Here's tropical storm Arlene in the eastern Gulf slowly drifting to the south. It's a small cone because this is expected to fizzle out by late day tomorrow as it moves towards western Cuba. There are the hurricane hunters taking off from Biloxi, Mississippi, and they were out there in the storm and they're are the ones that found those 40 mile per hour winds and that's why it was upgraded graded from a tropical depression to a storm and you can see as it drifts south it's moving into this jet of strong winds and that's just going to tear this thing apart tomorrow so it's going to be very disorganized 24 hours from now as it kind of curves around us so no direct impacts to us here in south florida but it's going to fling some moisture in our direction and that's why we have that heavy rain threat going through the weekend but by monday rain chance back down to 30 percent so more typical few pop-ups Lots of dry time in between. We're looking better by Monday.